the bus. The RTA. The RTA. Um, I've taken it once, um, but that's pretty much it. Have you ever noticed that it says on the side um, they use clean natural gas? No, I haven't actually. Do you be do you believe it's it's clean? Is that true? I I'm not sure because Riverside's pretty polluted. But um, what do you think? Actually, it's a little bit cleaner just because they use methane and it's not um, it doesn't it doesn't stay on the atmosphere for so long. Really? But it is just a little bit cleaner, but it's still pollutes. So. I didn't know that. It's crazy. Uh, yes, on a daily basis, actually. Okay. Have you seen that in front of the bus or on the side it says that they use clean natural gas? Yeah. Do you believe it's clean? Um, I really hope so because I would really like to decrease my carbon footprint and by using a clean natural gas for public transportation, um, I feel like that would be a good way to do so. Technically, it is cleaner because they use a form of methane, but it's still releasing a lot of like <laughs> methane Humble into the environment. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. so it's not that much better. The just a little fuels, bit, just but... a little bit. Okay, that doesn't make me feel all that bad. <laughs> What's the difference between weather and climate? Weather has to do more with maybe like how it affects um, humans because like we experience it. So maybe it's like, oh, weather, like, oh, like whether it's cloudy or rainy or sunny and climate is more like technical probably or like overall or something. Oh, weather changes by days. Either, well, today was hot, yesterday it was cold yeah. like that. And climate changes like in a long period of time, like summer, winter. What are the three main countries that release the most pollution in the uh, world? I think it's like US, India, and China. Which water would you prefer to drink? Riverside water or filtered waste water? UCR actually did an on campus study whether students prefer filtered wastewater or regular Riverside water. Um, I think I would prefer uh, Riverside water. Um, I would prefer to drink filtered wastewater. Why? I think just because like I already know what it tastes like and I've drank it for two years already being here and I've never tried filtered wastewater so I'm not one to try new things so since I'm already drinking it might as well just keep going. Because being that it's filtered um, I'm assuming all the toxins and bad things are removed from it so it's better for your immune system than drinking um, Riverside water, which you don't know what's in there. It could be harmful and it could carry things that can cause diseases and that are bad for you. The survey actually showed that most of our students like the way filtered water tastes. Most of our peers chose filtered wastewater. Oh, I did not know that. What is carbon footprint? Wow, yeah, that's a... Uh, well, carbon footprint, I, I think in my, if I had to like give a definition, is how much carbon that in the individual uses. So like how much emissions or how much um, uh, carbon they release into the atmosphere, I guess you can say. So that's anywhere from using, you know, a car. Did you know that California's carbon footprint was about 350 metric tons in 2015, according to the EIA? What is carbon tax? Is it when they tax companies for releasing an excessive amount of carbon? Yes. Even though they have this carbon tax law, companies still find loopholes. They have this thing called cap and trade, which allows companies who have not exceeded the amount of carbon being released into the atmosphere can sell it to other companies who have and allows them to avoid paying the taxes. What are the three main countries in the world that produce the most emissions? Uh, I think the, the three top three are US, China, and Mexico. Okay, well, you got two of them right. Okay. The last one was India. India. I, see, I don't really know that much about India, so I couldn't really... I was able to interview all these UCR students from different departments, such as CHA, SOBA, CNAS, and BCOE. Yes, most of these students were able to answer all these questions correctly, yet there always is room for awareness.